Hi everyone, it's Jody. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick little um, video to just kind of um, share with you a set of new rulers that I did. So they're called Mod Rounded Squares. There's actually three rulers, so two are squares. And what they are is I just, there there's some things that I've wanted for a really long time for myself. Whether or not anyone else wants it, I, I'm not sure. But um, the, the one thing for me with rulers is that I really love, my preference is to stitch on the inside if it's a, an actual shape. Um, you know, when, when you think about like a circle, I always have a hard time when I get about three quarters of the way around holding it against that. So I like to be able to have a ruler that I can do one side and then flip it and do it the other way so that I can hold it on the left, if that makes sense. Um, so that's what this does. Um, if you were to just lay this down, you can stitch here. You can then flip the ruler around, and the other side is here. So you can always hold it on one side. Um, this one, as is, if you were to lay this down and stitch it, it this is going to stitch a 6-inch square with the rounded corners. Um, but that doesn't mean that you can only do a six inch. So it's great. Let's say you have a 12 inch square. You know, you have all of this space here that you can stitch one side, travel along with it, and then do it. You can also do smaller ones. Um, I do tend to do some smaller things. So I did want a small size as well. So I did the same ruler and you can see, I mean, it is, it's half the size of it actually. Um, I also wanted to be sure that this particular one fit my stencils, my three inch stencils, because I use the stencils so much as a base for my designs. Um, so this one, if you were to stitch it as is, just as one rounded square, you would stitch here, flip it, do the other side, and it will stitch um, a three inch rounded square, like these ones that are marked right here. So, you know, again, if you were going to do them smaller, it would be much easier to stitch like, let's say, a one or two inch rounded square with this little one, as opposed to this bigger ruler. So that was the main reason for having the two sizes. And again, I mean, you could do really tiny things. You, this is three inches, but I mean, you know, you can just, again, slide it to do, let's say, three, four, five, whatever. And then the last one is called Mod Rounded Diamonds. Now, this is another shape. So I love to stitch hexagons and diamonds. Generally, I do them straight just because, you know, um, it's just usually how they go. But I really wanted to be able to have the, the um, rounded point on them. I guess then it's not a point, but um, so... That's why I did this one. And again, this curve is the same as this curve so that if you need to, you know, you want to stitch one side here, you can then flip it and still hold it on this side to do this side. Um, and again, because I use the stencil so much, I have a diamond stencil and I have two hexagon stencils. So this is going to, this is just like awesome because now I can make rounded hexagons as well. So I just wanted to give you a kind of a basic little rundown. Um, and I'm going to add some pictures here that you can see. And I am working on some new Stencil Saturday videos that will be stitching designs using these rollers. So if you don't um, already follow me over on YouTube to watch the Stencil Saturday videos, you might want to go ahead over there and give me a follow and then you'll be able to see exactly what it is I'm stitching with these rollers. Okay, see ya, bye.